Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Man of Moon Madness. We're reading stuff in the moon. We got Lala Blue 07 right here, and that one guy 47. Here's the two people we're working with right now. There they are. Uh, we don't have a third person because heck of I know. So we might have a random third person join halfway through. If I sound a little groggy, I took a nap this afternoon. I thought it, I literally thought it would help. But nope, I, I feel worse than ever. I feel like tired is all get out. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It, it does mean I will go to sleep earlier. But at the same time, it just means until I go to sleep, I'm going to be absolutely groggy and be like, oh, uh. it doesn't help that I like sleeping on the, the sofa. Because I like watching YouTube because I have no forms of watching other than my tablet uh, of YouTube. Speaking of which, I only have 42% on it. Um, let us check to see if we have any messages. We don't. Unfortunately, because I didn't release that episode where I said I accidentally deleted everyone's stuff. So, uh, oops. We do have some stuff from last time for uh, the, the levels that we played throughout. What is this? Uh, they're trying to pull out objects, but I don't know what they're trying to pull out. Oh, this is my cardboard box. Um, can I flip this? Huh. And, huh. Dang, I, I didn't want to... Wait, maybe if I... No, my cardboard box! <laughs> I just want to hide inside. Actually, you know what? Screw it, we're cheating. There we go. Now I'm inside my cardboard box, aka, as some people call it, the box of shame. Is there a way to m m put a dampener? The only interesting thing I have is something that is. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no thanks. I don't think anyone would like that. Uh, the, the thing with Mega Moon Madness is just pull out whatever. Doesn't mean even matter if it's uh, somebody else's stuff. Let me see if I can't put an object on it or a dampener on this. Yeah, now I can't get out at all. Wait, actually, maybe if I only put it down to 20%. Um, hello, police? I didn't want anti-gravity. No! My box! Let's switch it to 60. Because what the dampener is supposed to do is make it harder to freaking kick over. Oh my god, where's the lag coming from? Oh well, that explains where the lag is coming from. Um, I don't want to alarm you, but he might be gone for good. Okay. Well, that helps somewhat. Let me put that on, though. I want it to make it, like, so it's hard to take the box off. Okay. Well, um, I'm retarded. Ba basically, I want it. <sighs> Didn't they ever explain, like, certain things about, like, what things do in logic? I could have sworn they did. That makes it so it floats. That makes it so it stays in place. I don't have anything. What do you mean you don't have anything? Okay, here, you know what? I will give you tricky mushrooms. It's times like this, I wish I would've did fan generation later. Follow me. Okay, thanks for pushing me in the spikes. Follow me, set me free. I think I gotta start trying to do fan generation first because fan generation is really easy to do with anyone. 
a lot of people don't have objects, and so that's why a lot of times, like, people are up my butt and just, like, look at things. Skittles! Sir Banana, please! Is it Sir Banana or Senior Banana? I'm not entirely sure. And before Shane wants to join, uh, for me going out for a walk. Oh, goodness. So, literally, for 20 minutes, I hope you're ready. I have the greatest story yet. Um, I don't know if I should even tell this. It has to do with work. So, basically, um, for those that don't know, I, I basically have a job. <laughs> And that job may entail waking up early in the morning and going to different stores and counting stuff. And a lot of the time, it's uneventful. Like, it's basically just, okay, count their stuff and then leave. Nothing happens. Or, like, a lot of people complain. But in this scenario, went to a store, started counting stuff. Someone came in, complained about, uh, what was it? C uh, complained about, like, hated coming in this store, felt like they're being treated like a criminal, said they don't, uh, treat their customers or clients like that, and, like, said this to the cashier, and then the store manager, and then I think the district manager also came up, and, and like, just giving everyone a hard time, but it's just like, it's like, no one's treating you like a criminal. It's like, don't act like you're stealing something then. Or don't steal stuff. But I'm just sitting there chuckling the whole time, and like, she walks out, it's like, I'm gonna tell corporate. So like, the, the one guy tells it, his boss, it's like, oh, you might be getting an angry call. It's like, okay, thanks for the heads up. And I'm like, and she even bought something. I was like, what? Why do you hate coming into the store? That why are you coming into the store if you hate it so much? I don't understand people. Like, even if you need something, you should be like on principle. Like, I'm not buying anything from here. Is there a reason where why no one's rejoining? But um, oh yeah, I need to put preview mode on. It's just really weird that that person was very insistent on uh, making everyone's lives miserable that day. And I don't understand people. L let me put it this way. Um, if you don't like something, like, like about a store, and it just makes you to the point where like angry beyond a reasonable doubt, just don't go to that store then. Well, I ate the cookies. Well, well, I hope you brought enough for the rest of the class because the rest of the class would like to eat some cookies. Okay, we're actually gonna make some fire in here. We'll just do this and this and this. And uh, isn't there a material changer in the objects? She's like looking over here and be like, uh, what's going on over here? There we go. And let's see if I can't make this. Go, 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 go. Nope, dead. But she got electrocuted. Okay. Go, go, go. Did it. No! <laughs> Hi, I can't do any like JoJo songs or music or sounds. Why? But yeah, I apologize. This is more of a filler episode. It's something you put on in the background uh, and basically listen to me ramble. Normally, if I'm gonna do like one of these kind of things, I have like material ready. But normally, I try not to ramble on Mega Moon Madness because half the time people are like, "Oh, it's like." This is a crappy episode. I, I apologize, you few people that are like, this is a crappy episode. I never want to see this kind of stuff again. Well, I guess this will be, like, if, if I see people commenting that, like, this is a crappy episode, I'll just be like, okay, well, fine. One Mega Moon Madness per week then. 
Like, I'll try my best to get, like, quality people on. And if not, then just no Mega Moon Madness that day. <clears throat> I've also had people turn around and say, like, they like the new Mega Moon Madness episodes. And I'm like... Or they like all my Mega Moon Madness episodes. And I'm like, make up your mind! But then again, it's different people saying different stuff. Here's Sean the Sheep, by the way. Sean the Sheep. Don't you dare s- did you say- Oh my god. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, what? <laughs> Hold on. Is there a way to turn off the- Where it's showing that it, like, it's not pause. Like, the visible thing. Like, that icon upper right here. That, like right here is there a way to turn that off because I would fancy that be turned off actually hold on I got a good idea good idea uh, what's the best place for a sheep probably the asylum sheep welcome to your home I hope you enjoy it uh, it's a very classy place what, what do you mean you don't like it? Well, too bad you're living here now. Actually, you know what? You'll be fire sheep. Hold on. Fire base sheep. There we go. And... He's a flaming sheep. Okay, where's the Starbucks you summoned? Oh my god. Didn't I make an object the one time where, uh... Yeah, I made an object the one time where it sat there and spit out, uh, basically... I'm gonna do it again. Uh, bombs, please. Like, like, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're selling either. There we go. Let me get rid of that. Okay, now we're gonna create the box of doom. Oh god, I, I'm gonna have to do so many edits in this episode because, like, I don't like having silence in videos. Even though some might say it's like, okay, silence is fine. Uh, you're gonna get destroyed, buddy. I'm making like a glowing fountain here. I do need to make this invincible, though. Material tweaker. Put this in the middle. Indestructible. Uh, no, not stick. It is crowdable by all. And it's 100% bouncy. But no friction. It's gonna bounce like crazy. Okay. Okay. I just have to uh, reprogram the emitters here. Because they should have like everything I want. I think I literally just had one go the other way. Okay. Yeah, I, I literally had one go the other way. Oops. Okay. I want you to go this way. Okay, you went out way too far. Okay, bring it back in. Bring it back in. I, I need to control this. I need this. Come on. Oh yeah, I also know the other thing I was I did before I added like boxes. There we go. 
And the rockets red glare. The bombs bursting in air. Gave proof through the night that the box was still there. Oh, say that can you stars. <laughs> oh my god. Star Spangled Box Wave. Or Bounce in this case. Okay. Oh my god, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Okay, I need to pause. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm capturing this quick. This is my death box now. There we go. Go box, go! Destroy! <laughs> it's very indiscriminate though. I wish I could control it. it just kind of bounces and does whatever it wants. Nah, whatever. I, I'm happy with what I made. Someone drove a house on- where is Starbucks? What are you guys doing up here? You guys like... Oh, they're having dog fights. Dog fights without me? How dare you. I'm gonna get my helicopter. Then I'll show you. Oh, are you summoning me? It's the Red Baron. Well, you know what? I, I'm getting my own vehicle with blackjack and the hookers. You know what? Forget the blackjack. Eh, nah, screw it all. Okay, there we go. Let's go! Don't you dare, don't you dare. Go, go, go! Boost! Use the boost. Also, we're on two different layers, so there's no way you're gonna bomb me. Okay, well, I bombed myself by going into my indiscriminate explosion. You know, I need to make it so that... Oh, no! Does this blow you up if you're on a different layer? Hold on, I have to... Okay, yeah, it does. Cause I was on the back layer. What about the front layer? Yes, it, it, it just goes wherever it feels like. Th this bomb is pretty much out of control. I need to start making more like mass weaponry on the show. It kind of basically make an indiscriminate weapon so that like when we go into create battles, it'll be like, "Ah, hey, welcome to my parlor, Shane. Welcome." To and by parlor, I mean base. And then suddenly I just unleash that and the hounds of hell come out. Except for I'll make it destroyable so Shane can actually blow it up. But only if he pumps so many shots into it. And it's like, you must use the paintinator to fight off the enemy. Do I have like paintinator sensors? Uh, tag sensor, player sensor, remote sensor. Isn't there a thing where like if it's hit so many times... That it'll basically kill the object, grab sensor, sticker sensor. Where is it? I could have sworn that it was here somewhere. Maybe it is one of these. It's not grab sensor, it's not sticker sensor. Impact sensor? Well, impact sensor could... What impact sensor, uh, can I make that, like, a certain amount of, like, hits? No, it just includes touching once. To trigger it. I don't know, maybe I'll get back into logic sometime, but at this point in time, like one, I don't have the time, and two, Little Big Planet's a dead meme. I know, I know, you're in the comments, like, ready to type, feel free to eat a pie, copyable. I know you're in the comments being like, how dare you make fun of my video game, and be like, well, too bad. It's a dead meme. Dead meme, dead ch uh, childhood dreams. What is that that you're pulling out? Sir, you look like Sack when you're just like that. Except for Sack doesn't have like octopus arms. 
You know what? Where Where's my octopus, man? Actually, you know what? Rather than be an octopus, I'll be an alien. Hello, brother. This almost looks like I'm freaking saluting Hitler. Like, hi, Hitler! Or, I can't say that kind of crap. I apologize. I apologize, everybody in the comments. Nice tentacles. Thank you. I'm sure this is going to demonetize now because I said Hitler in the video. You know what? You know what? That last part never happened. Yeah, yeah. It, it never happened. We don't even know what happened to that footage. Like, it got corrupted or something. I don't know. Like, YouTube ate it. Yo, we we aliens and shiz. Okay, where where is the explosions? Well, I'd like to bring something into Starbucks. Meet my friend, the box. My box fights indiscriminately and fights for justice. What you guys get? Oh god, it fights against me too. It's like a storm. 100 out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna kill this box out here. Okay, because I don't need two boxes going on. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I'll be at like the other end of the restaurant where I'm like, uh, what? Oh, it just it destroys destroys whatever it feels like. Okay, how about you stop? <laughs> it's come for us all. Actually, it's just come for Starbucks. So, uh, you don't have to worry about this. Actually, Roadrunner. Let's go, Roadrunner. Roadrunner's the only one, the only man, the hero we all need. Okay, never mind. He, he's stuck. Roadrunner, please. <sighs> when in doubt, the only thing to pull out is... Tactical nuclear strike. Where is it? Where is it? Thought I had it somewhere. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go, my friend. This is the end. The only one I know. There, I destroyed the object. I think that's the only way to destroy my box, is with a nuke. Because what it literally does, besides summon explosions, summons things to crush other things. Also, I noticed like there's stairs that go up here. Where do the stairs? They just go up here to like a cage. Imagine if like these were platforms or something that you could sit on. Be kind of cool. That's nice. What do you mean that's nice? I I don't even know. Well, anyways. I'm gonna have fun editing. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Big Blue Madness. And as always, I'm Dragonic Fire, and I'm signing out. Catch you later.